All right. Oh, let me see if I can fix my camera real quick because it's being strange now. Just need to turn on my deal, flip the auto autofocus, and it fixes itself. There. All right. So I've been I looked up. Um, say if there's anything that anybody can say about microchips. Everybody, of course, who's played this game has said, oh, you have more microchips than you need. Probably so, but guess what? You're probably way at end game where you didn't need them anymore. And yeah, so, because eventually you do get more than you need uh, to unlock everything, but still. But one of the real helpful things is, of course, saying, the fusion deals. When we get the fusion things and we can open up more sections of the wreck is when we can go in there and get the blueprint microchips that are further off into the ships. So I'm just going to have to um, wait until then to get them. So yeah. Uh, okay. So we were going to grab more of these uh, this algae generator i was going to grab like a couple of more of those so let's see what i have to do here so i needed one of those okay i'm gonna need another one because i need two per one so i need to make like at least three of these which i need mushrooms silicon and a water bottle okay and i need two mushrooms everything else is one so we're going to make three of these. So three waters. <clears throat> three silicon. And mushrooms. Uh, I can grab the two out of here. And I have more than enough in here. Two mushroom. Two more mushrooms. Um, I'll need two more to make three. So I can make these bioplastic nuggets now. Okay. So we got those. So we got four of those. That's enough of that. We need one fertilizer per one of these. We have one. So we need to make some more fertilizer. So we need three algae per one. Uh, we just need one fertilizer though. So we just need two more fertilizer. So we need six algae. Um, one sulfur per one. So three, I got to go get our sulfur thing and two eggplants. So six eggplants. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we need one water bottle per one of these. So, three water bottles. We need... Uh, three magnesium. And three... No, six super alloy. One, two, three, four, five, six super alloy. And we're going to go put this off over here. I know we're going to have to swim around a lot to get this, but it is what it is. Wait, I don't have... Didn't I make, I must have, I didn't make enough bioplastic nuggets. Okay. I can, I can make more. I have a plenty of mushrooms. So I just need two more mushrooms. Uh, one more silicon and one more water bottle. Oh, no. I'll need two more mushrooms as well. Four mushrooms to make two. Um, and then one, two... And I'll need to get an extra water bottle to keep mine. I think. Uh, 
Oh, no, I didn't need an extra water bottle. Okay, so I should be able to make another one of these. should all be growing here okay um so that's those done okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to grow the get these so we're going to need bee larvas damn i wish i had the ability to get beehives tier two right now Um, does this increase our insects? It does, not by much. Not by much. Yeah, the bio butterfly diomes are more. But we do want these um, because that'll allow us to grow our food. See, the thing with the art door farms is they grow multiple things in them at once. So you get one seed and you get multiple things instead of one for one. And it also grows faster than the other stuff. Um, so let me go grab the water out of these things out of here because I am been using the water. I may need to build another one of those water deals over there. Just take that down and put another water deal up. Or put two up. Okay, so we have water. Uh, we need to be at the bee larva, which is going to be this one. So we're going to need... Um, so I'm going to need to get how many of these things? Or... I need one for bean. I need three of them. So I need six larvae. And for those, I need uncommon ones. So we need six larvae. One fertilizer, one tier two fertilizer as well. So we need three tier two fertilizer. I'm just going to throw this down off in here. And we need one water bottle per one. So one, two, three. Um, okay, so we need three regular fertilizers well do i have any like regular fertilizer no okay so to make the fertilizer it's three algae one sulfur i gotta go to the sulfur mines okay yeah i haven't been keeping up with my stuff No silicon. Okay. How are we doing? Okay. Yeah, I I filled up my inventory pretty much, so I'm gonna just head on back, and then I'm going to go grab super alloy as well. I do have a bunch of osmium over at the osmium drill base. I just haven't brought it over yet, but. We're not really needing osmium for what we're crafting right this second. So let me go grab the super alloy real quick. 
Um, I'll probably cut out the run to the sulfur and the super alloy. Yeah, I think I'll cut those out. We, we still need to go explore today as well. But I want to get these farms up and running. More than anything right now. That's going to decrease our production of our crafting materials as well. Silicon I'll take as well. All right, so we're back at base here. I got the super alloy, and I also picked up the uh, silicon that's off in there because we were running, we already used up a chest of it. Okay. Um, so we need to go, I'm gonna need three super alloys as well. I need to go make the tier two fertilizer which I need three sulfur for, but I'm also going to need, damn, I'm gonna need even more fertilizer for the bee larvas as well. Damn it, okay. I need the eggplants, I need, I need the eggplants. Two, one, two, one, two. Okay, and that's for the fertile that's for the farms themselves. And then I got the super alloy in here and the water bottles and the tier two fertilizer. Now it's just the bee larva left. So I'm going to need six more fertilizer. So one, two, three, four, five, six sulfur. I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve eggplants. I don't think I have the algae right now for this. I'm one short own algae. Yeah. I'm actually just one short of the algae to do it. Uh, we should have algae now, though. Uh, let me let me real quick throw this stuff off in here, actually. So let me throw that in there, that in there, that in there, that in there, and there, and there. Um, I'll just throw the food in there as well. I'm not going to need it. I'll just get a completely empty inventory to go and get as much algae as we can. I don't know if the other has completely grown yet or not. This should be done though. So we should have the, al the algae to make our uh, fertilizer at least. I don't know if we'll have the algae to make our uh, mutagen. But we do have some mutagen that we can use that we found out in the world. So it's not completely done yet. So is this completely grown 
Yes, but it doesn't mean the algae has grown. It has. Okay. I don't even know if I'll be able to hold all of this. Well, if I can get a full inventory. Oh, it's it's perfectly full inventory. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it was a perfectly full inventory. Damn. Well, I'm glad I emptied out everything. I just need to try to remember to have a perfectly empty inventory when I go on those runs then. That was a whole thing. So I have algae. Now, I actually have more algae than I can put in right now. But that's okay. We're about to empty this place out of things. Definitely. So I need one more fertilizer. Okay. So that's six fertilizer. And then I need six mutagen, which I seem to have four, five, six. Okay. Now it's just waiting on the bee larva to make, which is an uncarmen larva, a mutagen, and a fertilizer research. I could increase my production, but I'm not going to. We're at 43, so we're getting there on it. So I need to find a place to put these things because we're not going to need these anymore. The food growers, because I'm going to have things for everything except for the squash, I think. So I'm going to have one for mushrooms, one for eggplants and one for beans. Okay. Let me see our food seeds. One that one eggplant, one mushroom. There we go. I had things. So this should allow me to grow. Okay. okay bee larva's done. That, that, that. Take those out, put that in there like that. I don't know if the order of it matters. I'm just putting it in there in the order of the cut crafting deal just in case um but where do i put them though i i have to put them outside because they're called outdoor farms i'm just not totally sure where i want to put them i mean i could put them over here i could take this apart like i was talking about and put them right outside my door i might need to do that Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I don't want to automatically put these things into the chest, so I'm going to just put these things in manually. Uh, the Mac Oh, this one's been the one that's been pulled out of. Cobalt 2. Yeah, we're low on Cobalt as well. Put the aluminum up here. We have an iron. We have a spot for it and a super alloy place over here okay and then we also have all these waters i can put up here all right so done larva mutagen fertilizer research all right so we can build one We're just going to place it right out here. So what do we need to do for this?
Oh, here it is. Okay. And we place the beans in there first. But it, ta it takes eight minutes, but it's supposed to grow multiples. Okay. And I think we just pick them like normal. Gives us plants and insects as well. Um, definitely not. It's not going to be as much plants as a tier three. Yeah, that's 1250. That's like 93 or 95. Yeah. Bee larva should be done. Did I forget to push the research button? Because I'm pretty sure I pushed the research button. Did I accidentally cancel the sequencing? I might have done that. I have so many rocket engines that I can actually take apart for parts if I want to. Yeah, we're... Our pressure is not going up anymore. When do we unlock tier 5 pressure machines, though? Not until 23 KT. Okay. I'm going to need to get some two or three tree spreaders if I want to do the thing. Go out here and get some uh, water. If I'm not mistaken, this is like a regular, normal thing. This will just be dropping like regular resources. Oh, great. It's here. All right. We need to make... Uh, if I can, I want to make three of those. I'm kind of full on inventory right now, though. Can you, can you kind of stop? Because you're shaking me to pieces, really. <laughs> didn't I turn off screen shake? I'm pretty sure I turned off screen shake, didn't I? I could have swore I turned off screen shake. Oh, it's at like 100%. Let's turn that. Let's turn that off. <laughs> there we go. That's better. <laughs> that was a little much, man. That was a little much. Not going to lie. That was a little much. All right. We can buy it. We can place another one of these. So let's get this one going. Mutagen fertilizer research. Let's go out here and build another one of these. Kind of try to link them up. And then we place in our eggplant first. Let's, yeah, it's over with. So let's go out here and see. Like I said, I think I'm pretty sure these damn things were just dropping regular things. I don't even see the deals anymore. The broke apart rocks. I think it's because I was in my base. They automatically disappeared. The debris from them. I think that was one of the th changes made to the deal. Also... Um, I found out through the wiki that while I can drink from this, what you can also do is put a tree, tree splitter here in this thing to count as a deal. You, uh, I put that in the really wrong spot. You're supposed to put it like up against the shore and things, even though you place it in water. Uh, the other ones you don't need to. This one can be placed into land and this one as well, if I'm not mistaken. You don't need to place it on water anymore. Um, this one didn't do. 
I could have swore I, I keep on saying I swear I'm pushing that button. We just need one more to grow our mushrooms. Eventually, I probably want to add another one. But if I'm not mistaken, this equals six. The farms grow six at a time. I It just says multiples, but I think if I remember the wiki right, it says it grows six at a time. I'm not sure. But it is, it, it is a faster grower than even the tier two food grower, which only grows it in a little bit more than 10 minutes. This is a little bit more than eight minutes. That's how this one uh, does. Then out, put it in. Nope. Now I'm just going to sit here. Uh, probably catch, cut this out so you don't have to just sit here and watch me do this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Our last one. Grow some mushrooms. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it looks like it grows five at a time then, not six. Interesting. Not really yet. Because they're at 90% growth. All right. Um, <laughs> Did I fill the waters? I filled the water as well. Okay. Just overflow for right now. Yep. They're totally 100% grown. 
These are 80% and these are at 30. So just let them grow, man. Just let them grow. All right. Um, I'm going to keep the, uh, the squash ones here because I'm not going to make another one just for squash. And I'll keep the eggplant ones upstairs for extra eggplants when I need them. Okay, so fusion fusion cells. Um, are they made in this thing? Yes. So we want these. I need to I need to make at least three. Nine. Two osmium per one, so uh one, two, three, four, five, six, and then six obsidian. All right, let's, uh, okay, uh, fusion reactors gives us a list of the ships and their coordinates. Okay. So let me zoom out here. So we need to go to 323.978. Also, we got an achievement for that, I think, for making that. Craft your first fusion cell. Create your first outside farm and reach breathable atmosphere are our la latest achievements. So, let's see. So, we need to go to 323. So, I wonder if this is one of them. The ship in the volcanic biome has some. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the map, turn off everything except for the fusion reactors. So I can see. So yes, there's one off in this ship. Okay, so there's one off in this ship. Hopefully I'm not putting in the wrong ship. That'll be a major problem. Go. This is our first one. Put it in there. And then this is going to count down and it's going to lock itself in and we can never remove it again. That's okay. That's what you need to do. So we got one of them done. So let's see. We got some red lights. Okay, this opened up. Hopefully we get some blueprint microchips in here. What I'm hoping for. We got a circuit board. Okay. Some pulsar quartz. I'll just take all of this stuff and we'll stop grabbing things once we... Okay, so we have enough to make our trade deal now. Okay, there's no blueprint decoder there. Okay. Some money. Pulsar quartz, tier two. A volness plant. That's a 500%. I have never seen a 500% before, so we'll take that. And a big safe, which has a lot of money. An energy multiplier fuse. Yeah, there's also an energy one. I forgot about that. Uh, I'm going to have to come back for the money. I def Oh, it's 5,000. 
Wow. I have so much shit. What's up in here? A Petra seed and an obsidian as well. All right, I'm full, so I have to leave and come back for more. Hopefully there's more to open in here. There is, okay. Okay, and I'm, I'm kind of in a spot where I don't know where I am. I kind of wasn't paying attention when I came in here. Okay, I found my way out. Did I leave chest in here? No, of course not. Why would the freak? What would I freaking leave chest in there? Of course I wouldn't. It's me. Also, real quick, I need to start our nights up again. Um. You know, I like run, relying on Ark Knight's new auto system than the macro system but from before. Because while the macro system allows me to just use it all at once, I don't have to worry about it. I do like it stopping every now and then and giving me like a count of what I've gotten and things like that. So that's kind of nice. So the money goes over here. I have so much money. I cannot believe how much money I have. Uh, let me put the energy multiplier in there. Okay, and I dropped all the stuff off. And I have all this fertilizer now. That I could drop in here. And a mutagen. Uh, I don't need this iron. Yeah, I don't need the iron. I'm going to drop it off into our deconstructor here. Um... The iridium can go over here and the seed. I'm actually been putting the seeds off in here with this. I could just make another chest. I could just make another chest, you know. I do have room for them now, so. And I do have the circuit boards to make that thing, to make the trading platform. But I want to go get all that other stuff first. Oh, did I? No, I put them off in... No. I swore I put them off somewhere. Okay, I'm just going to make a another chest over here. And I'm just going to dump that off in there. I'm probably going to use that later on. Or did I put it to them off in here? No. I don't know where I put those things then. All those other seeds I have. I do need to go to my oxygen deals, uh, all of my plant things, and change them out for 600%. Because I think I have enough um, enough 600% seed deals to put one in every uh, deal now. One in every one of my flower spreaders. Of course, I think they all have 400% in there anyway, so it's not like it's a big thing. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to find the room with the fusion generator again, and then I can work backwards from there on finding... Uh, oh, it's right here. Okay, yeah. So I go around this way, and here's my vault. So I just needed to grab that. All right, so no blueprint microchip there, but there is another section of the ship that opened up right here. That's where the iron is coming from, is deconstructing these things. Yeah, that's it. Please have me a chip. I'm not going to take the seeds unless they're Lerma seeds for sure. Damn. So, unfortunately, this was a waste of one. There's no... There's no microchips in this one. I'm going to check this little section again because this... Uh, just in case I missed one. No, I didn't. 
I didn't think I did. And this is the end. Okay. Well, our first one was a bust. All right. So our next one, which is there one? Okay. There's not one in that. There is one in this one next to our base. And I'm pretty sure there's one off in the ring deal. Yeah, there's one at least off in the ring thing. So we'll choose, we'll go to over to this one over here in the desert and do that one first. Hopefully it doesn't take multiple, it only takes one. And then we'll go to the ring base and go that one. I just don't know really how that one's going to work. The ring one is the one I'm worried about is going to take multiples. Let me throw this in stuff. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 4,500, 5,000, 5,500. 10,500 tokens. Uh, that's that's nothing. That's a drop in the bucket. I've looked at what you can buy from these things. That's a drop in the bucket. There's things in there that cost 12,000. Just one of them costs 12,000. Of course, it's a blueprint thing you can get, so you only ever need to buy one of them for that price, but still. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things. Uh, and the... Uh, some of, I know one of the higher fuses, I think the production fuse is like 5,000, 6,000 something tokens as well. So yeah, we're not totally out of the woods on that yet. We have, okay. We have two fuses. We have two uh, cells and we have uh, three food. So we should be fine. I just need to get in here and find the thing. And then I need to go explore again and find out what it opens. Don't have to worry about oxygen again. Water could be a thing, but then, yeah. Okay, so we could maybe get in there. Hey, there's a ladder up. So, let's go take the ladder up. Here it is. And it just needs one. I'm just going to wait here until it's locked in. Lerma seed, Lerma seed. A production multiplier fuse, 100 tokens. Not going to worry about the seeds unless they're 500% or more. See, these things are randomly generated as you open them. So it's just me getting bad luck. You can, you can save scum it. I've seen uh, people say, I don't know if they fix that or not, but... People say you can save scum it by saving before you open a chest and then open it and reload your save, of course, like that. This goes to the generator. I'm pretty much full. I'm gonna check this chest. Yeah.
Yeah, this is something I haven't opened before. I'm just going to take the pulsar quartz so I can make more of them. The rest of it can just stay here. The pulsar quartz is the main thing, so I can continue making fusion cells until I don't need to anymore. I've done three. I would need five more to max out to make sure I can open up everything on this planet. Seeds. So yeah, I remember this one. This is the seed one. Where all the seeds are. Ton of iron in there. That's probably what I put off in there, most likely. And in this direction next. See, my thing concern is what if there's one behind those doors and I can't see it? There shouldn't be, but you know, I'm paranoid like that. Then all the seeds here. So this section is a bust here. So I went that way and took all care of all that stuff. Let me go through here again. I'll probably cut this out. Yeah, this is the one that opened up for us here, this chest. Yeah. Okay, so since I've explored everything, I'm going to take the um, take the regular fertilizer right now. All right. Well, another busted ship. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make some more uh, fusion cells. All right, so our next one is going over through the ring base and looking in there. It's, I'm, I'm getting, I have to say, I'm probably getting terrible luck. That's the only thing I can think of is that I'm getting terrible luck. Okay, so we're getting butterflies out in the world without us doing anything. Because we don't have the butterfly farm to throw butterflies out into the outside world. So that's interesting. Okay, so we got two iron to throw up and throw this off in here. So we did get a production multiplier, so that's kind of interesting. I'm um, just going to eat this. All right, so let's make, um, I should actually leave this up. All right, so I'll need three, two, three, six, um, one, two, three, four, and one obsidian, uh, two obsidian. We have three of them. All right. Let's start emptying out our bean locker. Take a one with us. It's raining pretty good out here. Nice and dark. Uh, ring compartment. That's where we need to go. Yeah, I'm completely worried. I know there's... I, we've been in two and there's five. I know one of them is in the volcanic deal because the wiki says that they just named it the volcanic one. I don't know because they didn't find the name of the ship. All the other ones are the names of the ships, which I have not memorized whatsoever. So it's easier for me to just tell me where it, tell me the biome and I'll go find it. <laughs> so let's head over to the ring compartment. Uh, the ring compartment 
is next to water. I don't have to worry about water. I can just fill up on water before we go. Yeah, I didn't really take anything out of these later ones because I was just looking for decode chips. So there's going to be a lot of things in them. Just need to find the fusion generator. I don't remember where it is in here. I don't... Is it underwater? It might be underwater. Yeah, there's a lot of iridium in this one area, I think. Oh, yeah, there was a chest in here, but I'll take the explosive powder and the osmium out of it. The rest of it, I don't care right now. Get it opened up. That goes to the cave. We don't need to go to the cave. Um, what? What happened? I can't get into anything? So is this a complete waste? Well, um, fuck me, I guess. That's real nice of you, game. I did put it in there. The red lights are on. So I guess it's just one big fuck you then. For me. to say I'm gonna be pissed the hell off give me a damn decoder chip in here money of course another production another energy an osmium rod a methane circuit and fertilizer 
Yeah, I guess this game is just saying no. You can't have this at all. It's you're not allowed to have this. The game says no to me about this. The game said no, you're not allowed to have this, apparently. Okay. Not sure what to do because the game is saying no the game is actually saying no so i've done three there's two left one in the volcanic biome and whichever the last one is which i don't know So I have two more chances with however many chests and the safe inside to get another, get some blueprint microchips. That's two ships. And I need at least three microchips. My chances are shrinking heavily. Okay, so I'm going to have to make its own chest. Uh, just whatever, just place one down. I don't care. I don't care right now. I'm I'm really getting upset at this game. Right now, I am really getting upset with this game. I have no idea why the 500s are after the 1000s, and that's a whole thing, isn't it? I'm thinking Osmium is what this is. Yeah, the Sulfur Osmium is what this is. Okay, the next one, I, I know one of them for sure is the one in the biome. In the, um... Still. There's one in that ship down there. Okay. The one where we got all the microchips last time. Okay, where are we? Our base is right here. We need to go that way. Go through the route. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm not having fun anymore because I'm relying on RNG to give me what I want. And so far RNG is saying no. There's one future technology that I could get that will allow me to go and get more but it's so far away i don't think we would i i don't think i would play anymore just to get to that technology to get this 
because it's 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 getting to the point that I feel the game is telling me not to play it with stuff like this. This specifically is the most upsetting part of the game. I didn't care about the death spiral, the death spiral, whatever. I was upset at the time, but it was whatever. But this, this I don't like. This right here I don't like because I'm relying on some rant, some person's random nunner generator to give me what I want. So I'm relying on their math, whatever they use for their random nunner generator to give me what I want. So I'm relying actually on a person, not just random number generator. Okay. So there's one in here. I need three to guarantee to get this deconstructor is I need three. Definitely not going to be in here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I have explored this whole place already. So we just need to find a fusion generator. I don't know where it would maybe all the way back here. So it's not over here on this side. What about over here? There it is right there. And I'm blocked from getting to it. This, this right here upsets me more than anything. I'm hating this so much right now. So I can't do anything here. So the only other ship I can go to to get to a deal is the one in the volcanic biome. That's the last one I can get to. So I have one ship to get three microchips now. So let me just go over here because it's going to be over here. sure it's up the ladder. But just in case it's not. Likely I had two. So I've used three and that's four and five. Six, seven, eight. So I need to make three more for the last ship.
That's it. I got, I got nothing. It's gone. Ain't nothing else I can do. Okay. So I'm locked out of further stuff until when? Let me head back to my base and we'll I'll show you how far we are from it. I'm furious right now. I'm no longer having fun with this game because of somebody's RNG manipulation manipulator. We're at out of room for things. Okay. Here. 250 GTI is the next thing we can do. That's as far as we can go. If we get to there, we'll definitely get some, but it's 250 GTI. We're at 50. And we, this is episode 23, 24. It took us 24 episodes to get to 50 GTI. So we're pretty much locked out of progressing any further with the microchips due to somebody's random number generator. And I really don't want to play this game anymore because of it. It, it's really just not for me, I guess. I guess I'm just a horrible, horrible person to have such horrible, horrible luck. <laughs>